teammates. Jalen, put it in the book. Jalen says, I'm just going to stop. When I was preparing for the 2019 draft, when I went and watched Washington Video, I went there for Matisse Thibel, but I stayed for Jalen Noel. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I stayed because you had uh, a lot of things that, that Minnesota needed and things that I really admire in a shooting guard. And so I wanted to pull a couple clips. And um, walk us through this play and what the mindset is of a score like you, because this to me shows a microcosm of what you're able to do. All right. So right there, I'm surveying the court. I could go left right now, and I could have that. I could have that lane, but no. Let's play in chess right now. So I just kick it back to my big guy. I see that my guy's coming up. I see that he jumps. Like right there, boom! It's instant crossover. And um, I was actually right there. I'm reading number one, Tyler Bay. Came in, plays with the Mavericks now or something like that. And so I'm reading him to see if he's gonna step up or if he's gonna go to my guy, but he steps up and I'm confident, all right, I jump, let me bring it, let me bring it to the left side and flip it up there. Didn't, I think he went straight up. I didn't think it was a foul, but it's an N one, so. But it, to me, it's, it, it shows an NBA skill set to be able to decision make. When I saw this video, I was like, wow, this Jalen Noel kid is really a really talented player. What do you think you need to work on the most right now as a young pro player? I think for me, I, I, I want to work on learning, learning different schemes faster. Um, I do a good job learning them, but I, you know, it takes me a while to kind of, you know, figure it out and have it like down packed. You know, when you have eight, nine, ten different types of defenses and having to switch them up during the game, I think that has kind of overwhelmed me. So I've definitely felt like learning that would help out a lot so more. So that, that's a process. And I mm -hmm. think that um, for me this season, my favorite game is the, is the New York Knicks game. Mm -hmm. End of game, we're talking about fourth quarter, and, and you are able to draw fouls. It's one of the skill sets that I enjoy most about your game is that you're able to put the ball on the floor and make something happen. Talk us through this play as it happens. You know, Ant gets the ball, gets off of it. I come around, I get the ball. You know, I'm looking right there. I'm looking to see you're where, almost where being a Cat pressure release because Pat Bev's under duress, right? Mm -hmm. And you're, you're coming out of the, the backside corner and you're coming to the middle of the floor to kind of give him a pressure release. Yeah, because I saw the double. So once I saw that, I, I, I knew I had to come. I was wide open. And, um, you know, I caught the ball. I looked at, I looked to see where Cat was first. Um, and then once I saw Mitchell on me, I knew that he had five fouls. So, I just wanted to seek contact and um, knew he was going to kind of put his hand in there. So I just rose up once once he put his hand like right there on my like shoulder. I just rose up right there um, and they called the foul. And I knew that, you know, what I'm saying like even if the bucket didn't happen, it was going to be free throws. Plus, he was out the game like he was having a pretty good defensive game. He was getting a lot of uh, I think probably this moment he had like four or five, five blocks in this game. He so. was a big problem in this game and getting him out was huge. And, yeah. and so and so your decision making of pulling the ball back out and going at Mitchell Robinson right here and getting that six foul and him, him out of the game was a turning point in the game. Let's go to the next clip because um, this clip is to me uh, um, an, another, it speaks to your three point shooting ability. And, and this is a microcosm under duress again, defender coming at you and being able to knock that shot down. I knew Pat Bell was going to throw that. Um, like when I saw my guy come over and help, that Once I don't know. Once Fournier leaves you, right? Yeah, like I don't know what their defensive scheme is, but I don't think he should have left that like that. So once he did that, I seen that you know I'm open. See the hands right there. I just knew that it was gonna come to me. Um, the the three point shot is not an ideal spot to to shoot a three at the break. That's probably one of the worst places to shoot a three. But um, that was the lane that they, the open spot right there. Like, it's like if I, if I would have moved down a little bit more, Vando was right there. The ball could have hit Vando. Um, if I would have moved up, Ant was right there. So once I, once I saw that, I just decided to stay right there in the line of vision of Pat. And so once he threw it to me, I just made sure to be ready. My two three-pointers before that, I think I missed. Um, 
but you know, as a, as a shooter, a scorer in general, you have to have a short memory and put that up because, you know, some guys would have hesitated, um, but that was never, it's never in my mindset. Well, I, I just think all of these clips kind of show the growth of Jalen Noel. The sky's the limit for you, Jalen. We're all pulling for you, and it's been really great to watch your growth. Thank you so much.